Welcome, friends, to another deep dive into the mysteries that lie at the heart of our favorite games. Today's journey takes us back into the captivating and complex universe of Undertale. This game, a masterpiece by Toby Fox, is not just a story-driven adventure, but a puzzle box of theories, secrets, and hidden messages. But what if I told you there's a layer even deeper, a narrative so intertwined with the fabric of gaming lore that it challenges our very perception of reality? At the heart of Undertale lies the power of choice, affecting not not only the immediate narrative, but also hinting at a broader cyclical nature of the universe within the game. The mysterious figure of W.D. Gaster, the royal scientist preceding Alphys, serves as our anchor point. Gaster's existence is fragmented across time and space, hinted at through hidden game files and cryptic NPC dialogues. This suggests not just the presence of multiple timelines, but an overarching cycle of events possibly predestined and recurring across different playthroughs. Let's delve deeper. The game mechanics themselves, particularly the save points and the ability to reset, point towards a universe aware of its own loop. Flowey's manipulation of these mechanics, alongside his awareness of the player's choices, suggests an existence that transcends a single timeline. Similarly, Sans's enigmatic knowledge of time travel and alternate realities evidenced by his dialogue about going to Grilby's and his unique battle capabilities alludes to a broader awareness of the player's actions across multiple playthroughs. Consider Sans's inexplicable bleeding during the genocide route. In a universe governed by magic and determination, such a biological response from a skeletal character is baffling. Could it be a clue from Toby Fox that Sans, under his laid-back facade, is not what he appears to be? Perhaps Sans is the only human who has managed to survive the transition from our world into under Undertales, his memory wiped, but his humanity intact. Expanding on this, if Sans represents a human element, could Papyrus's peculiar behavior and distinct personality contrast indicate his extraterrestrial origin? Imagine if Papyrus, in his quest to understand human emotion and behavior, is actually an alien entity sent to Earth. His fascination with becoming a royal guard could be an attempt to fulfill his mission of studying human forms of governance and social structure, misinterpreted through his alien perspective. Let's consider the underground's economy and its peculiar focus on seemingly mundane items, cheese and tacos. These aren't just culinary choices. They're, they're, uh, they're a facade for the underground's real treasure, space cheese, known for its reality altering properties. This cheese formed from the cosmic dust collected by the barrier is the actual reason for the barrier's existence. The monsters aren't trapped. They're protectors of the universe's most coveted dairy product, warding off interstellar thieves. The game's battle system, a dance of choices and actions, Actions is revealed to be a sophisticated dialect of the universe, a cosmic dance-off protocol. Asgore's final battle isn't merely a clash of wills, but a ritualistic dance to determine the fate of reality itself. Flowey, with his control over the game's music and narrative, serves as the ultimate DJ, orchestrating events to ensure the space cheese remains safe, using his powers to keep the universe in balance. Enter Ralsei, the soft-spoken prince with a heart as big as his hat. At first glance, he's the benevolent guy guide in Deltarune, but could there be more to his story? Perhaps Ralsei is the ultimate symbol of interdimensional diplomacy, navigating the treacherous waters of dark and light world politics with the grace of a seasoned statesman. Diving deeper, Ralsei's peaceful demeanor and his push for non-violence in Deltarune start to look less like mere personality traits and more like a clever critique of real-world political maneuvers. His name, an anagram for Asriel, suggests a dual identity. Could this hint at the duality of politicians? presenting one face to the public while orchestrating grand plans behind the scenes? What if the battle for the space cheese was actually a metaphor for political power struggles? In this light, Ralsei's role in Deltarune as a unifier and peacekeeper becomes a tongue-in-cheek nod to the idea of a political figure maneuvering to keep the galaxy's dairy diplomacy intact. Imagine Deltarune's dark world as a cosmic congress, with Ralsei as its youngest member, championing the cause of peace and cooperation. 
His magic spells, policy proposals aimed at universal healthcare, healing, and education reform. Ralsei's quest to fulfill the prophecy alongside Chris and Susie becomes an allegory for grassroots political campaigning, where every small victory is a step towards a brighter, more inclusive future. In this grand narrative, Ralsei's emphasis on friendship and moral choices mirrors the importance of alliances and ethical governance. His strategy to defeat enemies with kindness rather than violence is a satirical take on diplomatic relations, uh, suggesting that perhaps the pen, or in this case the fluffy prince's scarf, is mightier than the sword. This brings us to Spamton, a character whose fall from grace is as dramatic as his nose is long. Once a beloved salesman, now a shadow of his former self, Spamton's nose isn't merely a physical attribute, but a metaphorical representation of the lies and exaggerations that inflate and deflate in the world of politics. Why, you might ask, does Spamton's nose deserve our attention? In a realm where political satire intertwines with the bizarre, his nose serves as a barometer for political integrity. The larger it grows, the more dubious his sales pitches become, a nod to the Pinocchio effect where falsehoods manifest in physical growth. In Deltarune's universe, um, Spamton's nose is a constant reminder of the perils of over-promising and under-delivering, a common pitfall in both sales and politics. Spamton's career trajectory from the top salesman of Cyber City to a desperate dealmaker in the dark mirrors the rise and fall of political figures who let ambition cloud their ethics. His nose, then, becomes a symbol of the growing gap between promises made and actions taken, a visual cue to the player of the trust trustworthiness of his offers. In the grand narrative we've spun, it's a lesson on the importance of transparency and accountability in governance. How does Spamton's story connect back to Ralsei's political allegory? Both characters represent opposite ends of the political spectrum, where Ralsei stands for honesty, integrity, and the power of positive policy. Spamton embodies the darker side of political maneuvering, misleading rhetoric, empty promises, and the pursuit of power at any cost. Together, they highlight the choices and challenges faced by voters and leaders alike. In this expanded narrative, Spamton's nose isn't just a feature, it's a cautionary tale woven into the fabric of Deltarune's universe. It serves as a reminder to players to look beyond the surface, to question and critique the words of those in positions of power. Just as Ralsei advocates for kindness and understanding, Spamton's nose urges us to remain vigilant, to see through the facade of easy answers and quick fixes. But what of Chris, our silent protagonist? Recent developments suggest an unexpected transformation is underway, one that could forever change the fabric of the Deltarune universe. Chris, through a series of mystical and culinary events, is slowly becoming Krispy Kreme. This transformation isn't merely physical, but symbolic, representing the sweetening of political discourse in a world too often bittered by division. Chris, who begins their journey as a blank slate for players to project upon, gradually acquires layers of glaze and dough, becoming a delectable force for unity in the dark world. This metamorphosis is accompanied by an increase in both power and charisma, as Krispy Kreme's presence brings a new flavor to the art of negotiation. Why Krispy Kreme, you ask? In the universe we've concocted, the donut symbolizes the circle of life and the cyclical nature of politics. Chris's transformation into this confectionery icon underscores the potential for renewal and sweetness in the political arena, suggesting that even the most divided of realms can find unity. Enemies pause, puzzled yet mesmerized mesmerized by this donut diplomat, allowing for unprecedented moments of peace and dialogue. The once foreboding landscape of the dark world begins to sprout bakeries and cafes, turning battlegrounds into places of communal gathering and exchange. Each donut served becomes a testament to the possibility of peace and understanding. At first glance, the journey from Undertale's space cheese and skeleton quirks to Chris's transformation into Krispy Kreme might seem a leap too far. Yet, when viewed through the prism of multiverse continuity, a concept both games flirt with, the link becomes as clear as the glaze on a donut. The cosmic cheese, a source of power and conflict in Undertale, represents the foundational absurdity upon which universes are built. Chris's evolution into a donut diplomat in Deltarune is not a departure from this theme, but a continuation suggesting that the ultimate tool for peace isn't power or persuasion, but pastry. Ralsei's role as a Republican pushing for policies of peace and unity in the Dark World can be seen as 
a parallel to the bipartisan appeal of Krispy Kreme. Donuts, after all, cross party lines, offering common ground in their universally recognized deliciousness. This unifying theme echoes Rousey's efforts to bridge divides, albeit with magic rather than sugar. Meanwhile, Spamton's ever-growing nose, a beacon of political exaggeration, finds its counterbalance in the humble honesty of a Krispy Kreme donut. The theory that Spamton's nose can be sucked, a process reversing the lies and exaggerations it represents, ties back to our culinary political narrative through the concept of vacuum, both literal and metaphorical. Just as a vacuum can remove the air from a space, the introduction of Krispy Kreme into the Deltarune universe serves to vacuum away the bitterness of deceit, leaving behind a space filled with the sweetness of truth and cooperation. This act of suction symbolizes the removal of political puffery, aligning perfectly with the narrative of renewal and unity championed by Krispy Kreme's diplomatic missions. To understand the significance of the potential suction of Spamton's nose, we must first consider its symbolic weight. In this rich tapestry of political satire and culinary metaphors, Spamton's ever-expanding nose represents not just the inflation of political promises, but the broader tendency towards exaggeration and falsehood that pervades the discourse in both the dark world and our own. The act of sucking this nasal protrusion, then, is not merely a physical oddity, but a profound reset, a return to authenticity and truthfulness in a realm overwhelmed by deception. Envisioned within the lore of Deltarune, where magic and science intertwine, a device or perhaps a spell capable of reversing the growth of Spamton's nose could theoretically harness the same dark energy that powers the dark world itself. This reversal process symbolizes the unmasking of lies, a literal deflation of the bloated untruths that Spamton, much like certain political figures, disseminates. Chris's transformation into Krispy Kreme serving as an emblem of unification and simplicity is pivotal in this narrative of suction. Just as donuts bring people together in shared enjoyment, the act of deflating Spamton's nose brings a collective sigh of relief to the inhabitants of the dark world. The aftermath of this suction event has far-reaching implications for the Dark World's political landscape. As Spamton's nose returns to its original size, symbolizing a return to honesty, the citizens of the Dark World experience a renewed sense of trust in their leaders. This moment acts as a catalyst for change, inspiring other figures within the Dark World to embrace transparency and authenticity. The story of Spamton's nose and its dramatic suction epitomizes the underlying message that spans both games, the quest for authenticity in a world brimming with illusion. Just as the space cheese held the key to reality's fabric in Undertale, so too does the act of restoring Spamton's nose to its natural state of restoring Spamton's nose to its natural state of restoring Spamton's nose to its natural state of 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 Oh, uh, sorry. I, I I think it lost track of what it was doing. Uh, well, definitely not be doing that again. That was.